Okay guys, the Archangel here, and we're reviewing this guy, the Kenner Killer Crab Alien. <clears throat> One of the more interesting designs I feel. I feel it's um so we do the size and scale. It's a little bit shorter than Drake, but if this guy was to stand up on his back legs, he would most likely be taller. <clears throat> and obviously shorter than the Scorpion Alien. This guy will be getting reviewed next. This guy's just here for scale. So let's get on to it. Um now mine is a bit busted here because unfortunately the cut joint snapped off and I had to cut the arm apart to get into it to glue it back on so that's really it's just a big mushroom peg so this would have been heated up and then it would have been pegged on but with this you just clip it on like that and it still rotates and everything it has a nice like snapping is what snaps into it as well you hear that clicks in very well which is nice and <clears throat> let's move the tail out of the way the tail is a bit annoying on this guy Let's look at the head. I like the head. It's very nice. Also, if you hear any random noises on Gary's mod, that's because my cousin is playing it at the moment. Um, yeah, this, this is one of the more... This reminds me a lot of the uh, Alien AVPR Xenomorph, just because of all the ridges here. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, the uh, Xenomorph from Alien Resurrection with um, this bit that had, was actually along the tail, but in the movie Alien Resurrection, this was not on the head. But it's that, this bit here reminds me of the part on the tail, even though on the tail he's got a claw. Would be nice if they fit something in here like a grabby feature, but... Oh, well, what? Ah! Sorry. My camera fell off. Um, okay. Uh, just detach this chest burst. Now, I've only got one of these little chest parasites. But I've got the more characteristic one. Mares looks like an alien, and then you get this part. It's a very simple mechanism, actually. It's a gimmick for this guy. Um, articulation for this guy, it's all cut joints. But surprisingly enough, he has quite a bit, a decent amount. Just do this. He has a swivel up the head. So his head can go left and right. You know, and it can go pretty far left and right, actually. He's got a pretty good arc of movement there, despite these big shoulder pauldrons. He has a swivel at the arms. So his arms can, the, oh, so the arms, like every joint in this guy is a swivel. It's a cut joint, so you know. And I just realised now that chest parasite is actually deformed. <laughs> eh, oh well. Uh, the arms do both rotate. I need to heat form this tail. Ah, oh, sorry, this, this tail is a bit of a pain in the butt. So both the arms rotate, and the joints are really tight in this guy, actually. That's the one thing that's... A little annoying, but it's also good, is that the joint's are nice and tight. This arm oh, doesn't really rotate that much. You can cover, sort of cover his face. This one obviously moves a lot easier, but you can basically get him to cover his face. His legs all move. Hold on. His legs move, but you're not going to get the greatest range of motion out of those. You're best leaving him in their standard position. And he has no peg holes, which is kind of a good thing, really. I mean, you don't really need them. So these bat legs move. However, I think you can actually get him to sit down, and I really need to heat form this tail. It's very flexible. I'll probably have it up like that or something, so that it doesn't get in the way of the body as much. Because look at that, it's catching on everything. And that's what I tried to do with the arms. I tried to flex these outward so that it'd be, instead of um, angling inward, they'd be angling outward a bit. And unfortunately, it snapped on the cut joint. So I may re-attempt re that again with a hairdryer or something, <laughs> and then freeze it. Uh, the tail does rotate. don't know if I showed that. So, I think you can get this guy to sit down, sort of like a pet. Well, that really works. Not. Yeah, your best bet is, um, uh, sort of works there, I guess. Sort of works, but doesn't really affect his overall posture. Uh, you'd be better off with this guy just standing up. Because, I mean, as, as much as the articulation he's got, he's not going to have any, you know, Okay, so here is gimmick. You see this bit, you flick it down, and it fires out. It's just a very simple mechanism, but you know what's effective. The bottom one works just as well, but I prefer to have it in the top one. You get more movement to fire it. So, we're going to test it against a marine. Test it against Drake here. Although he's pegged into the stand with blue tack, so... Wow, that really fired well. Yeah, it's an old figure. It's an old toy. We're going to stand him around just because if the missile hits him, it'll knock him forward. So we'll just see the power of this thing. Which, it's not very powerful. Just... 
Yeah, it's... I'm not really aiming it properly. Give me a sec, guys. At least you guys see it worked plenty of times, though, which is a good thing. Eh. So, yeah, it's... it's it, I, I like what they were trying to do, but... Oh, that came off pretty powerful. Let's see it on my hand. Yeah, it just doesn't have the greatest range art. Look at this. It, it goes to there, which isn't great. It's not the most powerful. If I could pull this guy apart, I'd shove two springs in there and make it even more bloody powerful. But it would probably just go... Vroom. But hey, that's what I'd want. <sighs> I've seen one of these on eBay where it's broken at the head. I could probably fix that if I ever buy the set. Because I'm planning on buying that set because it comes with the bloody Queen Hive, the Mother Alien Hive playset, and I really want that so bad. Look at that. It's alive! <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's this tail is a pain in the ass. I really want to bend these claws outward. See? Like that. And have it stay like that. See how that one curls in? I want it to be out like this. So that it can rotate without getting in the way of the missile launcher here. And it's putting dim dents in my fingers. <sighs> and some more detail. It's very nice. you got a very nice red with a black dry brushing effect going on. And silver teeth, obviously. This is a pretty cool figure. The other side's pretty basic, and if I take a look at the date stamping. Hold on. It says, I can read it, 1993. So this is a 1993 figure. I believe this might be the second series. Don't shoot off. He's firing his load off. <laughs> That's a bit inappropriate. Um, yeah, the problem with these figures is you can't really get them. You can get the Marines sitting down, but the aliens, not so much. Though I don't know why you'd want the aliens to sit down in the first place. It's not really going to be doing anything. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This guy's getting reviewed next. Stay tuned for that one. Peace.